Now to a happy ending to a story we've been following for you on Local 10 News. An elderly man was left without transportation for months after a massive crane collapse. And tonight he's thanking Local 10 for stepping in to help when he needed it most. Local 10's Rosh Lowe is live in Northeast Miami-Dade with the exclusive update. So great to see this, Rosh. What a nice way to end up the week. I'll tell you, earlier this week we spoke with the 76-year-old man's daughter and she says, look, I don't know what to do. I'll show you here. That's my dad's car. It was hit by a crane. We've reached out to the company. No one's answering. No one's doing anything. And now wait until you see the results. What a difference a few days make. For months, 76-year-old Carlos Perez couldn't get answers or reimbursement for his car that was destroyed when a crane collapsed. After the report, the channel 10, the company called me and the, in 12 hours. I say, oh, the, oh Senor Carlos, uh, we pay you, no problem. Now there's a smile on his face. His daughter, who has been his advocate and lives in North Carolina, tells us by phone what happened. We did get some uh, communications from the adjuster representing the crane company. We have now, they have now presented us a drafted settlement and we hope to move forward with the settlement agreement and hopefully my dad gets, you know, um, a new car. We will take you back to February 7th. A crane collapses on homes in the area and on Carlos's car. Numerous people impacted, not just Carlos. Oh my goodness, thank you so much to WPLG for covering the story and the viewers and the support. This has been amazing and we hope to close this chapter and Again, just thank you for your support and, and for getting the story out there. It's important. Yeah, thank you very much. I said yes. <laughs> me happy. And my dolly helped me too much. He says you helped him too much. Yeah. Oh, we had to. I, I, I had to. It's hard to see your 76-year-old father go through something like this. And it's nice to see him smile. It is. It is. Uh, it was great to see Carlos smile. In a couple of days, we're told this car will finally be gone and Carlos will be able to get a new car. Never lose hope. We're live tonight in Northeast Miami-Dade. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News.